children whose parents yeah. are together yeah. and remain together, yeah. particularly if they're actually married, um, do better in life. They do better in the GCSEs. By the time they're 25, they're earning more money. So broken homes cause poverty is you know the what? headline so on this. so simplified, isn't it? I mean, what if yeah. those people are married but really miserable, arguing the whole time? Well, yeah, I, I agree. And, uh, um, you know, what about parents like I and the father of my children, who were, you know, who've done 30 years of co-parenting and, yeah. you know, we all sat around the table on Tuesday night, aunties and everything, and we had a party for our 28-year-old who just likes it so much, you won't leave home. Uh. Do you want some, do your own flat, Joe? No, why not? <laughs> I like it here. I mean, I, I, I was from a split home. See, I had to witness my parents yeah. fighting and, to you know, to the, to the extent that, you know, there were at, on more than one occasion an ambulance was called, the police came round. Right. 13, 14 years old. Yeah. It's really awful. You know, Liz, and I was glad when they split up. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. lot of this is about state control again, isn't it? Because if we put families together, we keep units together, that's that in that little box, you can't stray from that, whatever, whatever. And the point I want to make is, I honestly, being Mr. Game in here, in 50 years' time, I think they'll look back and say, you know, in 2022, they expected, we you hear this for a joke, two people to get married, yeah, well, stay together well, for the rest well, of their I, life. Well, I, I agree, because uh, I always said, I don't need, we don't need to get H. Samuels involved. <laughs> Why do we have to register with the government to be able to live together yeah. and live and breed? Why do we have to ask their permission to separate? You know, if we want to yeah. split our assets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we do it amicably. We don't need um, some government departments <laughs> through the courts to tell us it's... I, I think you're right. I think people aren't getting married not because they've lost the sense of romance, but because they... You know, we're all an we're all yeah. anarchists yeah, but in a way. I, I think it's a really good point because I think what the government has done here is you know, soundbite politics. They're, they're confusing marriage with being a good parent yeah. or being a family, and you don't necessarily have to be married or even to, together to be good parents. Yeah. And so I think that's what that, the interesting part of that story is. You know, about eating together talking together. Mm. You know, doing interesting things with your children and being a family. Being a family, but I suspect if you say, as Eamon, if, if, how many years you said it would be 10, 15, 20 years, 15, and it's yeah. all single parents raising raising kids. I've never believed... I suspect it'll be the women, and I know you won't like me saying this, but I suspect mm. it'll be the women who are trying to shoulder the lion's share of that. Because men and do I'm, nothing. I'm not saying men that, Eamon. I'm not saying that, but most well, women do, work. You said every day. Listen, kids, I've always thought... Uh, the other thing is about getting married... If I were to get married now, I think I could manage to promise somebody I'd stick with them 10, 15 years. Yes. But if I were, to, were 20, long time. at 23, yeah. I said to my boyfriend yeah. out of university, we both went to Leeds, but I said to yeah. my boyfriend, how can I stand there uh -huh. and say that I will love you for the next 60 years? See, Impossible. I, it's like buying a car. Yeah. Right. I think oh, that car... Gosh. <laughs> This is going to be good, isn't it? So <laughs> this is going to be really good. It could be all good. up to date. It could right. have all the latest gadgets in 2022. But by the time you get to 2027, it's a bit dated it's looking. It's classic. It's a bit, it's a it's, bit rusty. No, it's, it's a bit old-fashioned. It's vintage. You want something beautiful. a bit racier. It's got you know? memories, I, history. I think, I think it's wonderful. I think that you meet... You meet I think to be a couple from... Till death us do part from, the, from your very early 20s or something is a real gift. I think it's unusual, I think uh -huh. it's special, and I think the blessed. What this is about, though, is about how it affects children, the parenting. Mm -hmm. And you might not have a partner for life, yes. but you have ch children are for yeah. life, not just for Christmas. And even as an adult, my parents' bitter relationship has had an impact on me, yeah. on their grandchildren, mm -hmm. So if you can cooperate yeah. and co-parent, that's what this... I think that's the lesson this... in all of this is decide who you breed with extremely <laughs> carefully. And yeah. offer a trade-in after seven years. <laughs> <laughs> part of exchange or Where am I? Anything, I think I've just hit like the seven-year mark. Uh, so